specifying the first point. So when you start the line command and you want to specify the first point, uh, it AutoCAD is expecting that you are putting in absolute coordinate entry. In other words, if I want to go three, it's a three in the X. When I type in the comma, the comma forces it to lock the three and go into the Y position. Then I can put a two in there. And if I hit enter, I'm going to go start it at three comma two. If I change my mind, I want to go back and fix it. So it's not three, I can hit tab. Tab toggles it back and forth. I can say it's 3.5. And I can hit tab again and say, oh, no, it's 2.25. And when I'm ready and I like it, I can hit enter. Okay. So now that I have that position in, I can say, oh, you know, I can actually do that again. I can say, oh, I want to go to one. And I can hit the comma. And when I hit comma, it tells it it's going to go to absolute position. And I can hit one, comma one and hit enter. And I'm done. So uh, by default, it goes to absolute coordinate entry. However, if I pick, um, I can go to relative coordinate by typing in the at symbol. Immediately, it will lock the at symbol in. You can see the at symbol there. And then I can type in, say, an absolute uh, uh, you know, coordinate entry by saying, oh, I want to go two, comma, two. So now it's going to go over two units from where it was and up two units. And I can say hit enter, and it entered in that method. Uh, and now uh, the other method is polar coordinate entry. In polar coordinate entry, I can give it a distance and a direction. And so I can at this point say I want a distance of two inches and I can hit tab and I can type in a value and I can say I want to go at 45 degrees and I can hit enter and it just drew me a line here I'll hit enter it drew me a line two inches long at a 45 degree angle so uh, whenever I'm typing in values it's absolute, meaning I type in a, a comma, and then that puts it into the X and Y. I can hit tab to go back and forth. All right, I can put in an at symbol uh, if I want it to be relative, and then I can do polar coordinate if I put a less than symbol in. So um, our dynamic input is controlled at the first point by using our tab, our comma, our at symbol, and our less than symbol.